And over my shoulder here is seen from that great movie and the legendary actor, Peter O'Toole in Lawrence of Arabia. We learned this Sunday the actor has died. This image of a quiet moment while filming that movie just before he would become a global star, playing that British soldier in World War I, but from black and white to color tonight and to what helped make him famous, those blue eyes and good looks. And tonight here we look back at his career and his life as we return to an interview he gave to ABC News not so long ago about shooting that first movie and everything that followed. Can hear the girls declare he must be a millionaire. Defined by his starring role at Lawrence of Arabia, Peter O'Toole was virtually unknown to moviegoers when they suddenly spotted him in the desert <sighs> as T.E. Lawrence, the British soldier who led an Arab rebellion against the Turks. The playwright Noel Coward once famously saying that if O'Toole had been any prettier, they would have had to have called the movie Florence of Arabia. Time to be great again, my lord. O'Toole remembering it well when he sat down with Nightline. We were in Arabia, we were in the middle of the desert, and uh, we lived in tents, and uh, we'd get her an airplane, one for the actors and one for the technicians and the camera and the... And we'd land on a mud flat, and uh, we'd stick up the tents, wake up in the morning and go off and do a scene. And then Omar Sharif and I would go off to Beirut, O'Toole fondly recalling the parties in Beirut, the Paris of the Middle East. Beautiful, and uh, there was everything that two young men could have wanted. Yes, there was a big casino, there was nightlife, there was gambling, there was all sorts of things, lovely girls kicking their, their heels up in the air. Born Seamus Peter O'Toole, his father was an Irish bookie. He was famous for his life off-screen, too, giving up drinking later in life, but always known as a renegade, famous for his candor just like his character in My Favorite Year. Not for me. I'm not an actor. I'm a movie star. He would never win an Oscar, and when the Academy offered an honorary one, he told them, I'm still in the game and will win the lovely bugger on my own. That was a bit rude of me, and I didn't intend it to be, because it's an honor. It's the highest honor that the film industry can, can give one, uh, which was pointed out to me very severely by my children. I like to do something specific and earn the damn thing. Eventually, he relented and accepted, honored for his work in Lawrence of Arabia, for Beckett opposite Richard Burton, for The Lion in Winter with Catherine Hepburn and so many others. In recent years, the film Venus, O'Toole playing an actor in the twilight of his yes. life. In the movie, they show a photograph of a young O'Toole, and when asked what he would say to that young man... People have asked me about that photograph, and I, I can remember him. And uh, yes, he was a bit noisy and <laughs> drank far too much. But no, he wasn't a bad fella. He wasn't any, uh, whatever else he was, that young man, he was a very serious actor. And I like that. His daughter, Kate O'Toole, said in a statement her father had been ill for some time. He was 81. And Peter O'Toole once said his idea of heaven is moving from one smoke-filled room to another.